Oh, it's this time again. If you have not seen the last episode, you must watch it before this one is. Welcome back, guys, to the FIFA 21 Grimsby Town Road to Glory. And we, if you haven't seen it by now, I'm spoiling it big time, are in the championship. Yes, we got promoted. Bouncy bounce, boing, boing, double times from League 2. To League 1, from the bottom of League 2, shall I say, because we were actually rock bottom after, like, three games. And now, as I'm going to show you the uh, tournament we got, we got that tournament. I've got so much to show you. This episode might run on for ages, because we've got so much to do. Like, I'm just repeating myself. Barnsley, Birmingham, Bournemouth. We've got every team in this league. And I am so excited. The only thing about the league that we're in right now, we have played none of the teams not once in this career. The teams that have come down from the Prem are those that got promoted up, so they're not the best. It's like Nottingham Forest, Preston, Reading. No offence to the you know, fans of them teams. It's not like... I think the only Prem team that we've got is Crystal Palace, who resorted in the Prem. As we've got a budget of almost £10 million. Very generous from the really rather reckless board in real life. But I feel like it is kind of realistic because we saved a lot of money last season making free signings, which we might do again this year. As we have got no transactions, and I will show you the expectations for going to the squad, the youth academy, the signings, it's all going to kick off. However, before that, I need to uh, address the press conference. So the first question, Attila again, try scouting Jamaica because there's good talent and make Connolly play cam and right wing. I am working on the development for Connolly. I am doing exactly that. I want him to play more cam than right wing though because Maxi Wright and a few of the players I've scouted look like good right wingers. And Jamaica... Might set a scout on them, we might pay for better scouts. Definitely got the money to do so. As the next question is from Guy from Western, my old mate Mike Neno. As we can suggest, Scott McKenna and Harry Souter. I have looked at both of them, I have read the comments before. Unfortunately, both of them are unavailable. And then Alvaro from Batiste or Danny Martin for net. I'll have a look. Also mentioned changing Fisher's role, which I am on course to do so. As Alex has the last question, would you consider taking William Harper, which is the youth academy player you sold in episode one because of his high potential? Great shout. I am scouting him currently. I saw this comment, went straight on the Xbox to scout him, and he's currently being looked at, but it's 30 plus days, which is a shame, but he is out in Turkey. As we'll get back to where we was. Youth development, they want us to sign four players from each position. Got to work on that. We've got one player who I think you guys know who we're bringing in straight away who has aged upwards. Brand exposure. Get seven games from at least one goal scored in away games. Okay. Might be tricky in the championship that, but I hope it does happen. And sign one player uh, of a different nationality from one of... The, what? What is that? Sign one player of a different nationality from one at the club. Okay, they want us to be my diverse. I've got a plan for that. Uh, no continental success. Want us to avoid relegation. Do far in or get far in the FA Cup. They want us to get mid-table in time and still 13.5 million from youth players. As much as I love Connolly and the player we're going to bring up now, I don't think they're worth that as, yeah, you guys know who's coming. He has gone to 16-year-old Brandon Pope, who looks like literally the next Gerard Lampard, whatever you want to call him, just age 16. I think it was like in July or something when you just do all the sim into the next year. Has 87 as his minimum potential and 67 rated. He could be a starter. Now, speaking of the starting players and everything in that nature, we're going to have a look at the squad. Because I've put players on the transfer list, on the loan list. I haven't seen how they've reacted yet because I haven't simmed a day, but I have done it. So McEwen, want him to stay. Of course, looking for a, a, a keeper that's going to probably play more. McEwen will be the cup competition goalkeeper. He's not just going to sit on the bench like batters, he probably will. Going to try and sell Schofield, just hasn't had a look in. Don't really need him. Not a uh, championship quality. Uh, Russell's going to retire at the end of the season. Doig, want to keep. But if a good bid comes in, of course, going to let him go. Hope's transfer listed as well. He is a youth player, but he's not going to make the step up. League 2 youth players have got players that I want to keep here. I want to keep all of these. Iden, loan listed again. Can't make my mind up if I want to sell him or not. Ash Taylor, transfer list. My stomach's going mental. Fisher, going to be a right back. And Holmes has returned. Loganes didn't even want him. So he's off straight back onto the list to try and sell. We spoke about Hendry, uh, wanting to keep. And Millen, I want to get rid of now. Got players still out on loan. McEachern, Tunnicliffe, Spokes, I want to get rid of. And Pope's just come. McMillan can do with another loan. Clifton's going to stay. Connolly, Murphy, I've put transfer listed, but... He wants to retire as well. Crookshank, another loan. Martin, I want to keep. Tilly, I want to get rid of. Leach is still doing well. Out on loan. Akpan, I'm going to get permanently rid of. Just potentials not there for him, I don't think, in the championship. Max Wright, keep. 
Montel Gibson, keep if he's going to be a backup. Jackson Jr. transfer listed. Just not going to get the playing time with Long. Maybe going out the door and Garcia staying as we want to battle on. I've got all the players you put on the transfer list for me. We'll make signings in due time, though. I want to skip on, see if we get any more signings or outgoings, should I say, from the club as we go into this first game against Austria. Vine and every single player, bar Murphy, but he says he's not unhappy about it, agrees with the move to go out. As we have Austria Vine in the first game, going to play a lot of rotational players in these games. We get two and a half million if we, of course, are... Uh, Win the cup, but I, I, I really don't want to fight for it, if I'm honest. I'd rather just get a little bit of money and improve the team with free transfers and plays you guys have suggested. So, you know what? I'm going to go with the first team for this one just to see how it is. But, of course, I'm bringing this guy onto the bench to start off with. With McEwen in goal, Hendrik Pollock, Nightingale, Doig, McKecker and Clifton Connolly, Wright, Garcia and Martin. And Garcia's gone up a rating. Brilliant. As we are going to simulate this one, no bids coming in or out from us still not showing you the list yet. I'm going to get to the list when more players get scouted. And of course, it's time to make signings as players are playing for the position now. Championship. You cannot dilly-dally in the championship. And they get the win right with the last-minute goal to win it as Anderson scored first for them and Garcia got the other. I'd class that as a good result as Udsende won as well. Don't know how to pronounce that. As I might as well show you the list now because I think I need to make signings pronto. I want to rebuild a championship squad. Not just a lower league relegation, league one high, down low championship side. I want to push on. I want to stay in this division, not get relegated or go higher if I can. So we've got all these players, ones you guys have suggested and everything. Of course, I said priority was right back. Great suggestions at right back. But when one comes up like this, I don't think I can reject it. Cyrus Christie, 71 overall. Who that's decent for where we want to be in the championship. Right wing back and right back. If we want to change the five back, he's perfect. Free agent, completely free. So I think I'm going to go in for this guy. Wants a high wage, but we're going to start paying high wages. Of course, isn't the uh, different nationality the one as he wants a crucial role. I will accept that Cyrus Christie. Perfect for you. Wants a one year though, which I'm not too happy about. I thought I could get him for a long time. I'll accept it now. If he doesn't play well, he can just... Uh, remove his contract as he wants to go down in the wage that's perfect he'll still be by far the highest paid player at the club maybe we need to offer players more money ourselves as i'm gonna accept that cyrus christie makes the move from a free agent basically at fulham before to the mariners easy first signing and he of course goes straight into the starting eleven. henry i've seen good other right backs you know he could go down the pecking order massively as christie's gonna of course replace him straight away so i'm gonna make two changes for this next game, of course, Pope coming in with McEwen. Christie now, Pollock, Nightingale and Doig. I think the defence looks almost sorted, apart from keep, with McEachran in front. Pope and Connolly, two youth players running the midfield with Wright, Garcia and Martin again. As we've still received no bids for players. Hey, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. It's Ustende. Uh, sit in our way. I've got loads of players on the transfer list. Boys, please come in, even for the lone players or just... Buy some of us players. As these are playing a five bat, already won a game. If we win this, I think we'll be guaranteed through. As we get beat by 10 men, Tapano getting sent off with a Theta getting the last goal and Bassi getting the first. That's not good. But like I said, not really uh, focused on this tournament as I think it's time for another sign in. I want to fully rebuild this squad. And when I say fully, get a lot of the reserves out and a lot of new players in. And the first one I think I'm going to go for. The player I had my eye on all last season, Jamie Patterson. Yes, he is aging. Might be 70 or even 69 rated by the end of the season. But if we can get him on a one-year deal, I think that will be extraordinary. Connolly, of course, is great. Loads of assists, loads of goals, loads of good playmaking in the midfield. But experience is important in the championship. And will Connolly kick the ground running in our league above? I don't know. So I want to get some... Uh, Backup reassurance with Jamie Patterson. Going to be offering lower contracts as well in this division. Just because I know how much players go in and out of these clubs. I think he was last at Derby. I think it was. Going to remove that appearance fee. Takes a lower wage than Christie as well. As actually, no he doesn't. He wants to increase his wage. I'll accept it as Jamie Patterson is a second buy. And I say buy. Free agent. Free agent. We are going to buy a player. Don't worry guys today. As I'm just trying to weigh up my options and see where we really need to do it. And I think that relies on outgoings as well. If we sell players, of course, we can get players in. As we've got some offers here, finally. First offer for Holmes, 
who we are not using. I think he could be worth a lot more than that, personally. As uh, Schofield, I am just going to let go of. However, I think I've just clicked a button and it's gone to where they have actually put a keeper with it. So they want me to sign a keeper, all right. I mean, he doesn't look too bad. Definitely going to be a reserve if he comes in. Savalian Pian, as I'm going to give him a one year. Don't really want this guy, but then again, backup keepers and a huge squad is vital in the championship. So maybe he can come in for very cheap, be a backup, of course. And uh, if he takes a low wage, it's another player on the books. He's going to be better than Russell, at least. So I'll offer him 400 quid. Probably wants more, but that's what he's getting. And he's insulted. So I think Schofield is not going to go. As Holmes, on the other hand, I do want to force out of this club. Just didn't even do it in League 2. So why is he going to do it in the championship? To be honest, he's been here before with Reading. After I said that, I just realised. But... If I can get a bit more money out of him, I will let him go. I want roughly 2 million, though. If if it's not 2 million, I think it's a bad buy. Because, of course, he's only 22, and he's almost 70 rated already. And they won't budge. Come on. You've got to budge it up. I don't even know which club <laughs> are buying him. I just want him out that desperately. 1.8. That's good enough, I think. If they're not going to speak, we're not going to speak. You've got to pay up. And, hey... Maybe he could do a Martin. Maybe he could come back and actually be uh, fantastic. So we might have to play him in a couple of these games as we have a loan offer, a loan to buy offer for Macmillan. Going to change that to a one year and let him go. As this is going to be the team I go with for the final game of the preseason. Don't care if we get through, like I said, with Maka in the goal, Christy Holmes, Nightingale, and Boateng in the defence with McKechnie and Pope and Patterson coming in for his first start over Conley with right on the wing, Long and Martin in there. Don't worry. Patterson is not just going to replace Connolly. They'll share the game time like I want to do with the keeper a little bit. But he's got to play at some point. And I'm going to test him in this cup. If we win, we get more money. If we don't, okay. As we do get an offer in for Luke Hendry from Young Boys. I think... Was it Hewitt who we let go to like... I think it was Copenhagen, not Young Boys. So... It's another bid that's higher up. They are a Europa League side. It's above his evaluation. I said he's not playing the best. So thank you for your six years, Luke Hendry. You will depart. As that will hopefully be one million. Big chunk of money into the uh, transfer budget. I haven't spent one million on one player yet. As we get another draw against ten men again. Not the best. But then again, changing the team up all the time. I think we may have squeezed through though. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. If we haven't, maybe we can get onto the first game of the season. Which... I think is against Middlesbrough, and we haven't, so we may get onto that game. As we have another bid in here for Jackson Jr., loving it now. We are cooking on gas. Another bid for Holmes as well, which looks like they are willing to pay more money. Great stuff. But Jackson Jr., that is a good amount of money for him from, I can't remember, El Nasir in Saudi Arabia. I will let him definitely go. Enjoy your game time over there. Another million into the bank. But can we squeeze for two from Holmes? As of course I am going to try. I don't know if this is a wealthier club or not. I... Sorry, I don't know the bids that are coming in, but it's a lot better and one I am willing to accept. Of course, didn't even win the game once he's come into the team. So I think Pollock is the better choice as well. Offer 1.9. I see that as suitable for Tom Holmes. Still got potential in him, just not here. 1.8. Okay, okay, I'll accept that. Goodbye, Tom Holmes. I'm going to say you've been good, but <laughs> you haven't. No offence to Tom Holmes fans or Tom Holmes himself. Doubt he's watching. As we need to try and possibly go for another rotational centre-back or a first choice. I trust the defence we've got now with Christy, big addition. But then again, players might be bidded away from us. But before the season comes, business to be done. And I think it's time to pull the trigger on a player I have been suggested and honestly looks really, really tasty all stats round. We saved up all year just to afford this guy. Not really, but by the uh, mathematics of it, we saved 4 million last year. We've got an extra 4 million and this guy costs 4 million. So, uh, Dian Soskeu can play right mid. Left mid, pre preferably the wings as well, and right back, so he can fill in in front of Christie even. So, the Romanian, of course, complies to what the board want as well, a player from a different nationality we are going to go for. The biggest amount of money spent in Grimsby history. We haven't even spent a million yet on this career, so this will be a huge uh, leap forward, if we can get him, of course. Going to offer just four million first. He's... Preferably going to want to make the change to England. Really good league. As they want a 6% release clause. I'm actually going to try and up that. And take the value down a bit. So 3.7. Edit the release clause up a bit to maybe 11%. I think that's a good bit of business. As they will accept it. We've got him on cheap. Only thing we need to do now is get this contract sorted. Which 
can see him wanting loads of money. Of course, he will be valued highly at this club. Sorry, Maxi Wright, but you've maybe got a player replacing you here. So, squad roll, he's not going to speak on. I am going to offer important, probably wants crucial. He does. Okay, no problem with that. You probably deserve it. I'm going to try and change his position to a winger as well, not just a midfielder. Two years, perfect. Definitely one of our third players. A bit of a lower contract under three years this time round, as we will accept no release clause. Oh, and they've left the wage up to me. So I'm going to offer... I'll offer seven. It's lower than a lot of players, but it's still high in my regard. Okay, okay. He wants a signing bonus. I'll give him that and a goal bonus. If he scores 20 goals, I'll be very happy. So I will accept that as Dian Sorskeu joins the club from Romania. And that is a huge signing. Massive one. Same rating as Doig. The highest rated player in the team. Joint now as I'm going to try and put the best team together. As here it is, you can see the weakest positions. Yes, we've got Connolly and Pope sitting on the bench, so we're going to improve in the future, but I think another central midfielder could do the charm. Another centre-back, preferably, if Holmes goes out. Only if Holmes goes out. If he stays, we might as well keep him here. But yeah, we have got an offer accepted for him. And of course, sorry, Maka, but another keeper. As we have got players departing here, a lot of money has just been injected. I think that's the whole amount of money that we just sold Soskiu for. We've just got back in transfers, got a lot of free agents being scouted as well, because we've still got to kind of go for free agents. But I think the next signing is going to be one I'm going to try and do on the cheap. We're still going to sign a player. It is Lee Evans. He's valued at 2 million. I think we can get more. We can just survive in relegation from League 1. I forgot to show you the leagues at the end of the last episode. I apologise. So I think we can get this guy on the cheap and he's a good rating. Of course, feel for Wigan fans in real life under a little bit of a struggle as we're going to try and get this guy. McEachran did kind of get player of the season for us last year, which surprised me, but we need to get another guy in. He's at the end of his contract. He's 27, probably in his prime, but we're going to offer less. I hope they come and speak back. The one Harry Clifton. <laughs> no way. If he just scored in the playoff final, he's part of my plans as the first team. You're not getting Harry Clifton at all. I'll offer you 2 million. Will you accept that? 2.7 is what they want. That's a bit much for Lee Evans, I think. 2.3. If it's his playing style, 2.3. Oh, it's too much. It's too much and I'm going to walk away. I think we can get better players for that price. Speaking of better players, Stian Road Gregerson. Never heard of him myself. Scout. Beautiful work. I think he's a great one. From Malt, Norway. Uh, Norway? Norway. Very cheap. Very low wage. High rating. In his prime at 27. I think he's going to be very important if we're going to change this championship. If we sold homes, which we have done. So, again, I said that earlier. We are going to go in and try and get this man. I'm going to offer lower because I think he's going to want to come to the championship. Doesn't really want to stay over there. So, what, Max Wright? No! No, you're not getting Max Wright. I'll offer you 2 million. I think that's a lot for a player in Norway as a centre-back. To come to the Championship as well, one of the better English leagues, as I'll offer a little bit lower than that. 2.2. I'm being very, very stingy with my money because I want to spend a lot this year. I want to spend all 10 million as they accept that. He's probably going to want an important or a crucial role. Great. So Matty Pollock and Nightingale are on their toes this year as we will accept two years as well. Perfect contract length. Onto release clause. Yes, none of it. And please take a low wage. I know you've got a decent rating, but please take a low wage for me. Take five. Yeah, five's decent. 5k a week. Is he going to accept? He wants bonuses, and I'll give him it because it's a bit of a short bonus. So we've got another centre-back in. Spending and splashing the cash. And after whipping everyone on the development plan... Can you smell that? It's another signing, I think. So we're going to try and make one. That was cringy. I apologise for that. As we are going to try and sign another player. I'm looking at this guy, Christy Barbu. And we've just got Sonskescu in. I'm looking at this guy, Jackson. And, yeah, it's going to be Jackson. Left back, 21-year-old, released from Huddersfield. I think he's going to be great. Boateng might have to go the other way. He wasn't transfer listed. But this guy looks better. And he is a free agent. However, he does want a long contract. Wants to pin his future to somewhere. I don't mind it. He's took a rotational role as well. As the wage, I might have to pin him down a little bit. 4.6. I'm having to pay larger wage. I need to pay my other players a bit more. Is it reasonable? Great stuff. Ben Jackson's in. But the question is, before we get to the next game, can we get the keeper in that we need to? We've got a loan offer here for Cruikshank. With a loan to buy. Going to delegate that. Try and get him out for a year. And we've got another bidding, I think. 
We have Taylor. Okay, one I didn't expect to see from LA. Go and get that sunshine, mate. Go to LA. I mean, it's not Galaxy, is it? No, Los Angeles, I think it is. Go and enjoy yourself. Was a good servant when he first came to the club, but old news. I think we've got centre-backs to go ahead of him. So he goes to Aston Villa have signed Gundogan. What a signing for the villains. I've signed Samson in real life as well, who's pretty decent. It's got a monthly scout report. Need to focus on my scouts a little bit more this year. Put some more expensive ones out, as Taylor has gone. As we've got an offer, a transfer offer. Oh, no, it's happened again. It's happened again. We've got to make profit this year on youth players, and Brandon Pope has a bidding for him. It's realistic for him to move to the top league in France. This guy's going to be through and through, though. I am not going to do what I did with Harper. I am going to reject it. I'm going to I'm gonna put my foot down on realism. I am going to reject it. He has just come through. He's not even proven. How do, how do they know he's worth 2.6 million? Ridiculous, as we've got an Idahan loan offer this time from Miranda's. I don't know where that club is, but I'll definitely let him go. Actually, should have left a loan to buy on him because I still haven't made my mind up on him. Crookshank is going out on loan as well as it's another monthly scout report we need to get a keeper pronto though we have not got the scout reports i put out on all the keepers it's took a while i think the next bit of money we spend is actually on a scout because they're taking bloody ages and i am not even joking so uh bryce morendo i am going to manage you i'm going to fire you 9k i don't care as i am going to buy a better one and i'm going to spend a million on lucas porter I've actually sent him somewhere, not going to reveal where, but I've sent him on a mission because I feel like uh, someone's commented before a place where I need to scout players from, so that may give you an idea as I really want to go out into the continental market again. So I've got so many signings lined up, but we are on the date of the Middlesbrough game. Do I make a signing on this day? Go on, it's the first episode, but then again... I'm not going to lie, it's another free agent, but one I am very happy about. I said central midfield needs backing. This guy's from Luxembourg. Leandro Barriero Martins, 22 years old, 71 rated. This may be one of the biggest prospects, apart from like Doig and Terescu and all that. So we're going to try and get him through the door. Going continental, like I said. So we'll try and get him through. Hopefully he doesn't want a huge wage. going to offer him important because, oh, he accepts it. I really thought we were going to want crucial. Three years, I'll accept as well. Got players to rotate the squad with hugely. We're going to have to play loads of different players this year as the wage. I'll offer 8.7. It can be the highest paid player. Can't offer 13 or higher. As the seat reasonable, great stuff. However, it does get me thinking a bit. Maybe I could have gone cheaper. As I'm even struggling to pick my bench at the moment. That's how much competition there is in the new squad. And I am loving it as I am going to give the benefit the benefit of the doubt to the players who did get us promoted because they deserve it, don't they? As I've actually forgot to change one out. They won the playoffs. They deserve to play this game with McEwen in goal. Christie, of course, has to come in because we've sold Hendry. Pollock, Nightingale and Doig over like Gregerson and Jackson. With McEachran, Clifton and Connolly, they've all got to really dig deep for the positions. Barreiro, Martins, Pope and Patterson all punishing them if they don't. As uh, Wright has to keep up, so let's go on the bench. Martin, Long, of course, still doing good. And, um, oh, sorry, I said Garcia. And then Martin, who's on the wing. I'm surprised we haven't got a bid in for him. He's safe, though. He's safe. 20 goals in the season. Guarantees your playing time. And here we go. Blundell Park, the small stadium. Maybe we need to increase it if I can figure out how. Because we have the championship first day opener against Middlesbrough. I think that's Pollock's hometown as well. So it's got a bit of a grudge to it. As let's have a look at Middlesbrough's team. Stovanovic in net or Stojanovic, never heard. Spencer's a good uh, right back. I think they're playing five at the back. Dyke skill in centre back with Dale Fry and Paddy McNair. Coulson. Uh, left wing back, Savile, Morsi and Lewis Wing, very good with a shot, with Campunzano and Akpom. I know Akpom's very good in real life, and Campunzano, football manager, villain for me, I'm going to say hero, but he always scores against me. So this is going to be a difficult game, but at home, in a new league, can we get off to a bright start? You never know. If we do so, I think momentum could kind of carry us a little bit, and I would love it. To do so as Max Wright cuts inside as well and gives it to Raul Garcia. Connolly on the ball and Savile with a good tackle. And Chupa Apcom knocks it on to Camponzano again. Oh, a bad pass from the striker. 
That's unusual. As, uh, we're going to run with Connolly here. Try and thread it through to Max Wright. You've got to play well, Maxi. You didn't get enough goals from me last year. I want more in the championship as he gives it in the middle to a player who can't control. Paddy McNair with the ball trying to put a tackle on him but just can't get that one. Savile with a bit of a shocking pass though as it goes through to Morsi. On to Apcom. Now through to Morsi. It's a great pass. Christie with a slide tackle. Pollock coming across but it is Lewis Wing to punish us early on. I don't think we've done much wrong, but then again, quality shining through. Maybe a tough old season. But then again, we never play well in the first game. It's Lewis Wing with it. Toadie has a good shot on him. We we're diving all the place, all over the place to try and stop it. Christie put the tackle in. Pollock did as well, but the quick feet and quick passing from Middlesbrough is hard to live with. Stephen Warnock, or Neil Warnock, should I say, has them playing. It is not a good start. And I actually fear now for the safety oh that's a bad pass but with the amount of money we've spent we should actually not be in danger we've spent quite a bit as wings trying to push forward here going down the wing now mostly central as you get it into Campunzano and it's two to Middlesbrough we like a comeback we like scoring goals but it's going to be harder in this league punishing the newly promoted team here it's a great move Lewis Wing pulling all the strings in this team as it's a great little move to the side to slot it past McEwen. Nottingham Forest 2. It's not even Nottingham Forest, is it? God sake, Max. Get it right, as Harry Clifton needs to try and get the team to get it right. He's in danger as well if he don't play well, and none of the players have done, so I might have to make loads of changes at half-time. Well, as many as I can make, really, as McEachern gives it into Max Wright. Let's get a run on, as even the striker's doing better defending. And Nightingale onto Connolly. Round the back to Garcia. Now it's Harry Clifton, and we need to desperately push. I see Connolly, though, making a little decent move. This guy is under a bit of pressure, but then again, he's got loads of assists. Patterson on the back of him, as I'm going to put the ball in from Martin. Can we get the header? Akpom away. And Chuba, Apcom. I thought we were going to play a 1-2 there, but he's gone across to Camponzano. Oh, rough tackle, Nightingale. At the end of the first half, let's not make it three. I feel like we've still got a little chance of getting back into this game as it's blasted wide, but if it were three, it would be game over. We need two goals. We need them quick. Our attack, which is usually our best thing, not working today. So, I'm going to make a change in it. Max Wright, I'm sorry, mate, you're getting dropped for Soskiu. If you don't play well, Soskiu, then Max Wright's back in. He's got bags and bags of pace and dribbling, and Clifton as well. Not kept hold of the ball well. So, Barrino Martins, or I might just call him Martins, in the middle. Looking forward to see what the two new players can do as Akpom as well. I mean, I'm being a bit harsh on myself here. Middlesbrough are really playing well, and they are in the playoff contention race at the end of the day. As that's a good ball onto Connolly, though. Connolly, Spencer's run away from him. Keep on going, Michael Connolly, as Dykesdale gets the block. We've had corners. We have had chances as McEachern's going to whip another ball in can't get the header it's going to fall back to McEachern though put it on the edge to Connolly in the middle to Martin it's a one-two played and Connolly from the edge of the box blocked again oh and a good tackle Barreiro up the field gives it into Garcia I don't know about him this game as well he's really been non-existent as that's a good ball to Connolly he's been our attacking player this game as I'm trying to win a penalty there going backwards and Hoping he would have took me out as Akpom. It's one ball through the middle. Straight to the maybe CDM is the issue. As it's Campunzano on the ball again. Easily turns as defender through one-on-one. -on -one. Akpom gets in front of Matty Pollock. And from our chance, it goes to Middlesbrough. 3-0 at Blundell Park. Boys, I know we're newly promoted. We don't have our expectations, but I expect better than this. Especially with the signings as well. We've made great signings, but... Not proving to be worthwhile so far. Apcom with a good strike across McEwen. Keeper needs improving as well as it's Middlesbrough 3, Grimsby Town 0. Just one goal I think will boost me at the moment, boys. Come on, as Barrero has it. Gives it into Connolly. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get one, though, as McEachern. Look how defensive Middlesbrough have turned as it is now Garcia running across, trying to put a ball in the middle, and it's just intercepted. I don't think enough signings were made personally before the... Uh, Start. That is my own fault, of course, but to an extent, the scouts as well, as I didn't see Dyke Steel hiding back there. Definitely need to spend a bit of money on scouts just as well as players, because they have not done, it, uh, done us any favours, as even the defensive midfielders are just doing us in. And it's Savile with the ball in the middle, puts it across to 
Morsi, ref, we've just been fouled in his own box, Pollock, and I don't want this to be four. I don't want it to be a really good display from Middlesbrough, despite it. Oh, oh my days. Christy on your debut. It's going to be a penalty and it's going to be 4-0. Patterson to come on, maybe too late. Well, definitely too late. We're not getting back into this game. Has can McEwen make four saves out of four games, if you count the end of the last league? As it's going to be Campanzano. It's going to hit the post. I think I would have saved it anyway and saves his blushes a little bit. As this has just been shocking. There we go. End of the game. A lot to improve on. Maybe change custom tactics. Change players, of course, is the obvious choice. Maybe change the expectations, because I really thought we'd get low, low in the table. Maybe push for mid-table, but after that, don't look good. In fact, it's the worst it could have possibly been. Rock bottom of the league after the first game. And I think signings definitely have to continue to happen. I love the squad that's got us promoted two years in a row, but is it good enough to stay in the championship? Definitely not. Definitely not, so we need to make signings. Last chance to recommend them because of course I have to do an episode in advance so I will only see the ones from this video before of course I go out of the window so thank you guys for watching like comment share and subscribe with the notification bell on as well for this first episode of season three of the Grimsby Town to Glory hope you have enjoyed hope you continue to enjoy going in the future thank you for 1.1k subs means the world and I'll see you in the next video part two of season three where we need to make drastic improvements in a bit take care and peace.